don't go to hell on James chapter 2. Before I start the formal part of the video, quick administrative announcement. I love to, to respond to your comments, but I'm getting so many now that I may not have the time to go over all the comments, so don't feel rejected if I don't comment on your comment. I've, I've just got so many now. I want to be very clear up front on this video. Works are not required to be saved. Works are not required to remain or stay saved. You are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. I did a video on that. It's video 128. All you do is simply put your faith, belief, trust in Jesus, Him alone, and nothing else to be saved. For more information on that subject, please go to my pinned videos at the top of my page, video 152 and 153. Also, previously I have done three videos on James chapter 2. They're, verse, they're video 28, 116, and 155. Now, false teachers love to run to James chapter 2 to try to teach people that they must work their way to heaven. And they always avoid clear and direct verses that show you can't work your way to heaven, such as Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Also, Titus 3, 5 in part, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. And also 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9, in part, who has saved us, not according to our works. Obviously, you're not saved by works. But a lot of those false teachers run to James to try to convince you that you must do works to be saved. Now, those verses I just went over are clear that you're not saved by works, Let's take a look at a very clear and direct verses on how to be saved and see if it mentions works. We're going to go to Acts 16, 30, 31, the most direct question and answer in the entire Bible on how to be saved. And it says, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's only belief in Jesus, no works. Now, I've got a verse that has the word work and believe in it. It's very interesting. It's Romans 4, 5. It says, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him. Believing on Jesus has nothing to do with works to get you saved. Also look at Galatians chapter 2. Verse 16. Now, this is so simple. Works are not required to be saved. So how, how can so many people miss it? Because they reject the truth, the simplicity of the gospel. And they are blinded very bad by Satan. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. I said in Ephesians 2, 8, you're saved by grace. Please look at Romans eleven six. 6. That's very clear, too. You're saved by grace. It doesn't include works. And if you try to work for it, you're not going to get any saving grace. Romans 11.6. Take a look. Now, you're, it's clear you're not saved by works. Do you have to work to stay saved? Do you have to work to stay saved? No. How do I know that? Jesus tells me so. At John 6.47, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, hath everlasting life. It doesn't say this. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life if he maintains quality good works. It doesn't say that. Jesus makes it clear. Once you believe, you have everlasting life. It's not temporary life. It's not probationary life. It's not conditional life. It's not tentative life. None of that. It's everlasting life. Doesn't include works after you are saved to be saved. Should a saved person do good works? Of course. 
I'm going to read Ephesians 2, 8, 9 and add 10 this time. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained, that we should walk in them. Save people should do good works. If you look at Titus 2.14, it tells us that saved people should be zealous of good works. But none of that, none of those good works have anything to do with getting saved or staying saved. Now, at this point in the video, somebody's saying, how come you're not covering some of these James chapter 2 verses and analyze it word for word? Well, I've done that, some of those verses in previous videos, which I've mentioned. But I don't need to go to James in this video. No matter what your favorite James works verse is, you're not saved by works, and you don't do works to remain saved. We've already covered that. If you're looking at a James verse and getting confused, you're misinterpreting it. Now, here's the bottom line on James chapter 2. Yes, save people to do good works. If you look at James chapter 1, verse 2, who's he talking to? The brethren, saved people. Yes, saved people should do good works, like Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, and Titus 2, 14 tells us. Now, what is the purpose of good works? Matthew 5, 16. Jesus speaking. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Good works glorify the Father. They have nothing to do with getting saved. Now, what might saved people get for doing good works? Jesus tells us in Revelation chapter 2, chapter 22, verse 12. Jesus speaking. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. We might get rewards for works. I've got to make something very clear now. Eternal life is a free gift. It's not a reward for works. Eternal life is a free gift. It's not a reward. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay, so saved people, by doing good works, might get rewards. They might get rewarded for their work. Where at? At the judgment seat of Christ. I did a video on this. It's video 42. What kind of rewards might say people get for their works? Crowns. Take a look at these verses. 2 Timothy 4.8. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, 19 and 20. 1 Peter chapter 5, 2 through 4. Revelation 2.10. And 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 25 through 27. Now I'm going to end on a controversial point. Now, we know that saved people should do good works. Ephesians 2.10, Titus 2.14, and other verses. Do good works prove that a person is saved? Do good works prove that a person is saved? I'm going to give you a scenario. I visit a soup kitchen. There's five people working in there. They're working for Jesus, they say. They're working to help the poor. Does that prove they are saved? No. Why not? Because most religions in the world teach their people that they got to do good works to get saved. We might have five people working in that soup kitchen working to get saved. So what would I do? Well, I can't see into their heart. I could ask them a question like this. If you die tonight, why would God let you into heaven? And if they say, because I believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, then I figure they're saved if they're telling me the truth. Bottom line, don't go to hell on James chapter 2.